Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video, you see I'm here at the crib. I've got some bodies that need painting. I've got two J Concepts S15 bodies. Um, <clears throat> one of them I sent off to Paint by Smiley to do my race paint job. And I'm gonna do the practice body. I'm gonna do it the first time I'm gonna do Candy Apple Red with a gold base. Um, I thought I had program to for the window mask to have the the outline and fluorescent yellow i have it for the older body i forgot so what i'm going to do i'm going to put the regular masking on there and cut it out by hand so what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to start the process of the paint uh, it's going to have candy apple red i got spaz sticks candy apple red i've got i ordered some tamiya paint for the gold base so it'll be a little darker and I have fluorescent yellow for the window outline and white to back it with so and I've also ordered some spastics clear that they make for nitro protection for the for the paint so that's coming too so but today all I'm doing is I'm gonna get the window mask on there and get the candy paint on there and hopefully the next day or two the other paint will come and I'll add that to the video and I'll show you the process of doing that. Pretty simple. It's going to be one color. <clears throat> it's going to be candy apple red with a gold base and then I'll have my normal fluorescent yellow stickers on it. I could have sent it to the money I spent on paint is more than it's going to cost me to send it to Smiley. So, but I'm, I did this so I can have the candy. I want to do the candy paint. And I wanted to do a video just to show you how I do it. So it's pretty simple. Um, just take your time. That's the biggest thing on these paint jobs is taking your time. I don't have the patience to do or the talent to do the race body like I'd like to. I've done some in the past. I'm not. I'm never 100% happy with it. So I'd like to pay a professional to do that. So anyway, I'm going to get this GoPro on and get started. Okay, now this is pretty raw. I'm doing it out here outside simply because inside the house, the family's in there making a lot of noise. I figured it best to be out here and do it outside in the driveway. Uh, what I've got is in the J Concepts S15 body for the HB Racing D819 RS. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of here. So, like I said before, I like to do the fluorescent yellow outlines on the windows. I just think it looks neat. Um, so, I usually have vinyl stickers that cut it that are cut out the shape of the window and then an outline so it's perfect. Uh, but that was for the older body. I thought I had it for this one. So this one I'm just going to cut out by hand later when. When I'm done painting the candy and the gold on there. So J, J Concepts body comes with some pretty cool stickers. Um, I usually don't use those. I use my fluorescent ones. But they're pretty cool to stick on other things. So the way I like to do this is obviously look at the window make sure i've seen people put these on upside down like that so this window mask goes this way the wider part on the bottom so the way i like to do it is put it on the knife and just be real careful setting it down try to get it straight crooked and I wind up putting it on my fingers anyway That's pretty decent press it down real good <clears throat> paying special attention to the edges that's where the paint can leak through. And then 
just pay attention when you're doing this make sure you're putting the right one in in the correct order just put it along the lines on the body Press it down. Like I say, press special attention, press down the edges. What I want to do, see how sharp this knife is, and I want to cut a space in here between the two windows. knife is sharp enough or not looks like it is okay so I'm put the other side in Pretty simple. Their window masks are pretty nice. One thing I didn't do is press this side down in once I cut it. So, all right, so I'm gonna go cut this one. There we go. All right, so now we'll wipe this off. I'll be right back. I'm going to wipe it off with a damp cloth, let it dry, and I'll come back and I will throw some paint on it. Okay, so we're back and ready to apply some paint. The one thing that's important is to be patient when you're doing this, uh, especially with candy paint. It takes several coats. Um, and you got to be real careful not to overdo it. So this first time I've actually used the Spaz Sticks brand, so we'll see how that goes. So light coat to start with. Got a little splatter there. I think I. I always wind up touching my finger over the front and splattering like that. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, we're gonna let that let that dry for a minute. One thing about the candy paint is it's iridescent. You can see through it. You can see through it a lot. Now, of course, that's a light coat, so it looks like crap right now. You got to keep applying light coats. Um, you let it flash between coats. So what that is, you see how it's real wet. When you see it flash, it starts to get this dry look to it on the outside. And once it's flashed, it's ready for another light coat. So we're going to let that flash for a minute and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. We've got a little bit of flash to it. You can see it's kind of got a dry look to it. So we'll go ahead and get ready to spray our next coat. Try to get all the lighter spots that I missed. Get all the crevices. 
Sometimes it's kind of hard to get that part back there on these bodies. Do a little shake every now and then. One thing about candy is it's hard to get it even. So you have to kind of kind of eyeball it, look from the from underneath, see where you missed. If you ever look at a full scale car that's candy paint, it kind of look cloudy because they didn't apply it even. That's a pretty good coat there. See, I has got a few cloudy spots. Now, some of that's where my hand was. Ooh, I need to hit a spot right there. A little light. There's that coat. We're going to let that flash a little bit. We'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back. Um, had something really weird happen with the can. I was, I tried to sneak a few little piece, little shots in here and there where um, I thought were light, and the it sprayed kind of funny, and the the lid just shot off and wouldn't spray anymore. So I guess I'm done. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the color is really neat. I think I got it distributed somewhat even. It's not perfect, but this is a practice body and it's just this is just something to play around with. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm probably gonna do, I'm anxious to see what the color turns out like, especially with the gold background. So it's really kind of hard to tell. It's starting to get a little dark here. Um, you can see through it. So gold will be the base. So it should be a little darker, but have a kind of candy look to it. It should be really neat. So then what I'll come and do is come and hand trim an outline like this and paint the fluorescent yellow outline of the windows. So I got the, the side windows separated like I like it. I'll come and just cut a, squ a square pretty much here on the other side. And then um, we'll apply the gold first. Then we'll come in and put the fluorescent yellow and white and the, just to spray it in those spots. And then we'll spray the nitro coating on there and then we'll get it cut out and hopefully get our fluorescent yellow stickers on it. I think it's gonna look really cool. Uh, you can't really tell. You know, it's got the protective film on it, so it's kind of dull right now. But you can get kind of an idea of what it's gonna look like, but it usually looks a lot more vibrant and shiny when you get that coating off. So anxious to see how it turns out. Um, I use a good bit of that candy red and the can messed up, so I won't be using that color again unless I buy more. Um, but the gold, I should have enough gold left over to use on another practice body, the fluorescent yellow and white as well. I think I spent 50 something dollars on paint. Uh, but like I say, you use that one color in the red, pretty much use it up. Might have a little left if that can ever works again. I don't know if it will. And then uh, I can use the gold and the white and yellow probably for several more bodies. So. Um, just something I want to try something a little different. I usually use a fluorescent yellow body because I can use it in uh, dark situations and stuff like it's at night or a big arena where you can't see good. Kind of a night body. But this is just something I want to try. You know, the candy is kind of special because I used to have a mini truck with candy paint on it back in the day. So this is kind of going to be that color. Uh, it's very similar to what my truck was back then. So anyway, this step one. Hopefully, uh, the paint will be here in a few days and we'll get to step two and get get this video put together for you. See ya. So, I got this brilliant idea. My, my paint can started working again, miraculously. So, and then 
with the help of the pit chick, my daughter gave me some gold glitter that I'm going to put in the paint just to see what it looks like. Candy box cosmetics. This is makeup <laughs> stuff. So the attempt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a light coat. You know, I got the body is, is dried and ready. So I'm going to do a, I don't even have it in the picture. I'm going to do a light, it's candy red, right? So I'm going to do a light coat so it's wet. And the pit chick says she can put the glitter on just right. So we're going to see what happens here. I'm going to get the... You think Maybe you a big it? fat fail. It, it may be, but this is practice body, so it don't really matter. We'll just cover it up with stickers. I'm if already getting glitter all over me. Yeah, I opened it up and got glitter. Actually, I got a little bit in the body right there. <laughs> so I don't know how well it's going to show up. I'm going to have it do this glitter and then we're going to have a gold base so hopefully when the light hits it just right it'll have a good sparkle to it and maybe look like a bass boat or something like that <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna get this gopro camera on and we'll get started okay so here we go i'm gonna it's not started yet. yeah it started oh, okay. <laughs> sorry yeah it's so <laughs> she's new to this okay so i'm gonna put a light coat in here and she's gonna get go, you can go ahead and get ready because i gotta Don't do it while it's your wet phone. You got your Okay, I'm gonna come over here and spray it. Spray me either. I'm gonna spray the body. Yeah, this. You're getting it all over your shirt. This too. can oh, is acting strange. What did I sign up for? Where are you going? I don't want to be painted. It's all over the side of the house. This is that we're finishing off this can. Thing is pink. No, it's not. Yeah, it do is. your thing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. That's that's something else. That's... Oh lord, I'm scared. Oh, it's looking good. Look at that. Oh, oh. no, that's what I didn't want. <laughs> we'll make it heavy. Oh, yeah. That... <laughs> that right here. Kind of. Maybe I'll see if I can spray a little more paint. Okay. Let's see. Looks good underneath. <laughs> yeah, you can see a little. Oh yeah. You see a little sparkle through there. It's not really gonna be able to tell till I get the base coat in there because it's candy. You can see through there a little bit, but I think it'll look all right. Once we get the base in there, it'll yeah, it'll start start here. popping. Let's see if I can spray a little bit to seal it in there. I've probably put a little more candy on it than I wanted to, but silver base may actually be better, but gold's what I got coming, so. Well, that's it for that can. Maybe we'll have a little sparkle to this thing. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back for the next step. Okay, so my paint came in today, so we're gonna try to get this thing wrapped up tonight. So I got Tamiya white, fluorescent yellow, that's for the window trim. Got gold for my base, and I got the Spaz Sticks, Ultra Sun Clear, Acrylic Enamel, Nitro Fuel Protector, that's important. Okay, so I'm gonna get this gold base on there. You see we got our metal flake in there. You can't really tell, there's not enough sunlight, but you can see some sparkles through there. So. This is just a regular gold RC paint from Tamiya. So we get it shook up real good and we're gonna get this coat on here. I'll try to go pretty light. I don't need it, it doesn't need to be really heavy. 
I just want to um, get it for a base. I want to be able to use this on the next paint job too. Okay, so I had another can problem. This, uh, the gold, I probably didn't shake it up good enough anyway. It may have been sitting a while. I probably need to shake it up more. It uh, clogged up on wooden spray, so I jammed a gym clip in there, I jammed a safety pin in there, and finally it started working. So there's the gold base. And you can kind of get a, a view of the color. The light's not real good here. It's get, starting to get a little dark. So next up i'm going to take my razor knife and trim out the windows and get the the fluorescent yellow on there once we get that on there we'll spray the nitro spray and we'll be done so we can take the cover off and see what it looks like take the film off and see what it looks like all right i'll be back as soon as this dries we'll go ahead and get that cut out okay so we got the gold base on i'm going to attempt to do this i'm having to do it with my glasses off and up pretty close so i'm not sure how the video is going to turn out but I'm gonna to try to trim, do my window trim. So I'm just gonna cut it parallel to the trim, to the masking. Okay, so that was getting kind of hard to do on camera. So I had to step away and do it on the side. Uh, so basically all I did was cut the lines and peel away the spots where I want that's the part i'm gonna paint yellow so that's gonna be fluorescent yellow so i'm gonna get the paint ready and we'll shake it up more this time it will take a super light coat and then a super light coat of white and we'll be done with that so be right back okay so we're running out of daylight i hope this works out okay i've shaken up the paint a little more this time i'm gonna spray it make sure it's spraying good and just a super light coat around the windows That's all it's gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna turn the can upside down to clean it out. And you can see, hope you can see the color. Let's walk inside here. We got a little bit of light. You can kind of get an idea of what I'm after here. So I'm gonna let that get to flash. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my white out and start shaking it up. And then we're gonna let all that dry and we'll put the the clear coat on it and hopefully we're going to be able to get the rest of this off of there and reveal what it looks like so be right back okay so here we go this is going to be the white which will be the base for the fluorescent super light coat again just like the fluorescent and that's all it needs Let's take it back in here and see what it looks like. Should should have made the fluorescent pop a little more. And it did. See how bright it looks? Okay, so getting excited now because um, all we got to do is let that dry. And then we'll spray our nitro coating on there. And then we'll be able to pull the film off and see what it looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've got that done. I went ahead and pulled the window masking off and you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. But I just remembered I had some smoke paint from Tamiya. I probably got just enough to do these windows so it looks like window tint. So I'm gonna try to attempt to do that. So go kind of even because I don't know how much I got. So I'm gonna try to do even light coats. Kind of splotchy looking so i'm gonna stop right there because okay so here we go our final step is the spastics 90109 ultrasound clear coat acrylic enamel nitro fuel protector nitro fuel protector that's why i got it so 
it's a pretty big can hopefully i got enough i got another body coming from paint by smiley he finished today showed me pictures it looks awesome so hopefully i'll be able to do this this body and my new my new race body from him with this stuff so let's see here maybe i'll step outside and see if i can get just enough light it's getting dark here well, race day is tomorrow and it's kind of be nice to have this thing ready to for its debut at our club race tomorrow like i said it's the first time i've used this so not sure really how to lay it on probably fairly thick i would think oh the light went out that's it it's pretty pretty shiny really just like to say so i'm gonna try to let this dry if i can be patient enough to let this dry um hopefully i can be patient enough to let this dry and we'll get i'll take it in the house and we'll get this film taken off so you can see what it looks like so we'll be right back okay everybody we're back um and i got the lovely pit chick here with me i was be careful the paint's not 100 percent dry so i was in, just like i said i was going to be impatient because i want to do the unveiling and pull the film off but the pit chick herself <laughs> wanted to peel it off she likes that kind of thing so <laughs> here we go see it looks it's looking all shiny and stuff but it's fixing to really look nice now this is my practice body my race body is coming from Paint by Smiley next day or two. Next couple of days. Next week, actually. Woo. There she is, pulling the film off, and it's looking good already. It's like peeling you when you sunburn, you start peeling. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, got this light on the camera. I can't really Can see, see it. it good? Look at that. Candy apple red with a gold base. I don't know if you can see the metal flake in it or the, the glitter in it. It really looks good in this light. It's gonna really look good in the sun. So this is gonna be my race body. And uh, once I get it trimmed and get the yellow stickers on it like normal, it's gonna look great. Um, hopefully we've got a race day tomorrow, club race. So hopefully I'll get it trimmed, get my stickers on it. Over there, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll make its debut on the track tomorrow so anyway there it is Ooh. thank you pit chick you're welcome <laughs> okay so we're back in the trailer and that's it for the painting my practice body video it's candy apple red with a little glitter in it for metal flake effect and uh, that's pretty much how I do it so I've always wanted to do a candy paint I used to have uh, show truck back in the day that was candy apple was brandy wine candy apple red so it's a very similar color maybe a little darker had some ghost stuff under it I may try that next time but I'm gonna do a separate video of trimming the body and sticking it up so I didn't want to make this one too long so hope you enjoyed this make sure you subscribe like and share and hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time